good for you and it will increase your vocabulary so much. I'm looking forward to your increased vocabulary. So what should you read? I'm going to give you some random recommendations here, depending on what kind of person you are. If you just want really easy reading, try Enid Blyton and her famous five series. It's just about some children, they have adventures, there's criminals and bad guys and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's good fun. And it's kind of old fashioned and yeah. The other children's books which I really think are great are Roald Dahl's stories. Actually a guy from Norway who came and moved to Britain. And his stories are really fantastic. Really funny and witty. My favourite would be Fantastic Mr Fox. Check those out. Then you've got the Chronicles of Narnia, which maybe you've heard already, which is more like kind of fantasy. Seven of those books to read. Then you've got all the J.R.R. Tolkien's works, the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit. You've got to read the Hobbit in English. Do it now. Promise me. So there's lots of books. And then, you know, you, you can go into whatever you like. If you like Harry Potter, go for Harry Potter, and so on. And also, just to quickly mention, there's the non-fiction route. If you really love business, then read business books. That's obvious. If you really like astronomy, whatever it is, whatever your passion is, read about it. So that's my two tips. Read children's books, or read something that you really love and are really interested in. This has been Charles Wood English Teacher, your language tutor online. And this has been about books, you know, books, things you read. Read more books. Read more books in English. I believe in you. You believe in you. Tell me what you're going to read. You'll tell me, won't you? You'll write it down below about the books. You said so. Yeah? Okay. Right.